In this video, we will be talking about what you will be doing with Vice on Bind, setups, lineups, and just generally good guide tips on how to attack and defend with Vice on Bind. We're going to start with the attacking side first. So we're going to kind of like go from left to right on the map. So we'll start with B long here. So what I like doing is um, right when the round starts, usually like what a cypher does is put their cam like right here on this little half wall right here. And what this does, if you put your flash immediately when the round starts on this little half wall obviously you don't want to look at it so you turn away when it pops and you'll be able to catch anyone like kind of coming across like fast right here when you put the flash like instantly the barrier is like right here you have it prepped boom flash like instantly you'll be able to catch anyone trying to run across right here or holding like that and that'll give you the information that hey someone is there because when the flash pops and hits an enemy it actually makes a noise or like an indication of the flash hit somebody so after you have the b long control i would say grab your flash like right after you use the flash it'll be a little 10 or sorry 20 second cooldown so by the time you're going up b long you want to uh kind of wait until you have the flash again or you can call to your team if you have like a sky or another flash but if you have your flash again you press right click you have a flash again kind of like a an, like an initiator put it across the wall flash out sight and have your jet raise satchel out dash out whatever you need and then follow up with them with the flash and this is really good for uh, like a b long take just because like the utility that vice has is kind of like a initiator and sentinel type you know mix and that's what i really like about vice so you can you can definitely use her to your advantage kind of helping your teammates entry into site with this wall i don't really like to use it for flank because there's like a lot of stuff that you need to hold for flank usually what you would have is a cypher you would have it like holding like this or uh somewhere around over here but you only have one of these walls so i would say definitely save the wall for when you go onto site and you can worry about flank later you can either use it for the retake like towards elbow so you put the wall right here and then you can set up a razor vine as well so by the time they come out you pop the razor vines and it'll be slowed when the walls pop and you'll be able to isolate the guy and kill the guy but the one i like to do is uh usually the smokes are down try to set yourself up for the wall ct right here and then have the uh, razor vine here because usually when the enemy is coming out they usually come out from ct not from elbow or they have someone go late elbow or something like that when the wall pops it's usually going to be one or two being isolated you pop these razor vines they're going to be slowed you're going to be able to hear them in the razor vines like this like that you'll be able to hear them like that they're slow taking damage and you're going to be able to isolate them because the wall is up and then kill them off and it'll slow the retake because the other teammates are slowed by the wall and they won't be able to get out for another eight seconds to help out their teammates and i think that is really really useful on a retake type situation and then last thing to note there too on the post plant you can play back and then you'll still have your flash like right here so when the bomb is planted yeah. like here here or something like that you can have that flash ready it'll be invisible so they won't see it and so when they tap you pop that flash boom you have a free flash right there for the post plant situation next up for the uh scaling that you should be doing for attack here is um kuka depending on if you want to go fast or slow you usually want to have a sky or a sova like drone in like dog or, or even have like raise roomba or gecko wing something to kind of clear for you because when you get close you want to have like some sort of drone or something like that to give you an indication to see if anyone's in there and if there is you could use this flash again put it through the wall flash up and it'll give you the indication if someone's in here as well and it will also flash them so you'll be able to use that to your advantage and take hookah pretty free and then after you use the flash i would like, recommend just taking it right after so they don't break it because if you take it away it is 20 seconds but if they break it it is 45 seconds so you want to make sure you take away the flash before they break it just so the cooldown won't be as much and then if you're going fast uh you're probably not going to have your flash up since you just flash into hookah so you're going to have someone else flash basically but if you are waiting and not going that fast you could use your flash again do it high right here so by the time you're going out all the people except for in tube all the people on site are going to be flashed because even if they're back site the flash is still right here so they're going to be like right here holding like this boom 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 and then they're flash and boom they're still flash because you put the flash high on Puka here and you can also use the same setups that i showed in the previous one you can save your wall for ct here or you can put your wall for elbow whichever one you like and then combo the razor vine for their retake all right now for a short this doesn't matter if you come from the left side here or the right side you can do it either way but one thing i like to do from the left side here is when the round starts you put your flash right here you flash instantly and you'll be able to see if someone's trying to walk up cubby here because it'll give the indication and you'll be able to isolate that guy he's probably gonna get scared because he also gets flashed as well and you can also do this from the right side as well just do the right click right here flash right here flash up and it'll give you this 
same indication as well. Retrieving clash. Like I said, don't use your wall for flank because you only have one of these walls. And I would say rather use it for like retake or something like that. So one thing I do like to do is have the wall like right here. <clears throat> so by the time you do plant, you plant right here or something like that. Combo it with your razor vine, right? So by the time they go through, it's going to be one or two being isolated from this wall. And the wall stays over eight seconds. So that delays the other defenders by a lot. So that is really good for uh, your post plant situation. This wall just isolates the people coming out. It could be one or two. You pop the razor vines. The bomb is going to be here. And then you're going to be hearing them trying to move. They're going to be taking damage and they're slowed. And you may be able to pick them off as well. Another wall I like to do as well. So the bomb will be right here or depending on like where you plant it, it'll be like on truck right here, right? So one thing I like to do is have the wall like right here put the wall right here so by the time they go to actually defuse the wall is gonna pop up and the wall kind of pushes away the opponent i don't know why but they go for the wall it's gonna trip the wall and then they're on it and it's gonna push them away kind of like an astro wall like that or like an astro suck sorry it gives you an eight second like post plant situation it helps you out so much for that eight second duration because they're not able to uh tap the bomb at all with that wall up for eight seconds and i think that is really insane because it pushes them off and you have that free eight seconds to work with and if they're taking a lot of, a lot of time and they don't have that much time that eight seconds can be a lot around win the only thing though is that if you do this wall right here for the for the push on the defuse right here you want to make sure you stay alive because the wall doesn't trigger anymore if you're dead so make sure you stay alive also another thing too for post plant you'll have your flash up again i like to have my flash up like right here make sure it's high as well because if it's high even the people back sight they're gonna be getting flashed by it too definitely have some razor vines for when they come out you haul and then you know for when they try like scaling out for the bomb boom boom they're trying to come out they're gonna be slowed and taking damage so it's really good overall for their retake here last but not least we have the shower scaling so for the shower scaling i would say put your flash like right here it gets right into this corner right here this is a really good flash because the players or the defenders are gonna be right here and then by the time you put it down you're flashing it and then they're gonna be like completely full blind obviously if they're fast they're gonna be able to turn away from it but it's just a really good flash especially from being this distance right here like, i think that's just really good putting it right here and it will, you could like swing with it too because it won't blind you and it will blind them make sure you're doing this flash right here by the time you take shower control you're gonna have your flash again you can save your wall for the isolations as well the same thing that i was saying earlier for the post plant situation you can kind of even have a wall like for this instead too like for the isolation here vice is just super good for post plant never use her wall for flanks just use it for the retakes it is super op and then if you're staying in shower you can have a flash high like right here or something like that so by the time they're coming out and they're looking towards shower they're gonna flash like this and boom you have free picks so now we're on defense side with vice and i'm gonna be showing you some a site setups and some b site setups and this will be really good for like if you want to play aggressive with vice or if you want to like play for retake so let's get right into it so depending on what you want to do with your wall and your utility you can kind of have like a trip for sight right so like if they're walking yeah, out you can have a wall for when they come out like this and you'll be able to isolate them when they come out here on the stairs you set up your razor vine right here another razor vine like you know right here or something like that so by the time the wall goes up you'll be able to like get any of these razor vines and they'll be like getting slowed and getting hurt at the same time you'll be able to isolate them as well with your flash you can have your flash anywhere on the site really it depends on you and where you want to play you can have it as simple as like right here uh flash out when they're getting slowed right here boom 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 free picks so you could have it like on top of triple right here you could have it even like in high places like right here so by the time you go out and, and you flash boom 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 so the walls that i really kind of like doing is like trap setup so usually on bond you'll have a brimstone you'll have uh rays you'll have these people with uh damage utility right so if you have your wall set up for like pocket right here right let's say you have it set up right here they're coming out sight and usually sometimes some, someone likes to play pocket here right they're gonna get trapped in here and unless they're like rays or jet they're gonna be able to get out but if it's some regular agent that doesn't have any movement utility they're gonna be trapped here with no way of getting out for eight seconds because that's how long the wall last and they're trapped in here so you can call for your race to throw a nade like right here let's pretend this is uh race's nade the nade goes and falls into the trap right here sorry that didn't land on, on on it but you get my idea the nade is gonna be trapped in here and it's a free pick for your race you could also combo this with brimstone ult so if you know someone was trapped in there you call for your brim to ult and let's say yeah. you want the brim to ult like this general vicinity as long as it gets yeah. this corner right here that's a guaranteed kill and i think trap plays like that with this wall is super perfect it's just a guaranteed kill 
who doesn't want guaranteed kills that is a guaranteed kill and that makes it an immediate 5v4 let's say they're like faking towards a right they're coming out a they smoke you can think ahead and you can put a wall on the tp right here let's say they decide to leave they tp go to b boom the wall gets activated and only one person will be able to tp the other people they're gonna be trying to be able to tp but they won't be able to because the wall is gonna be like triggered they're gonna be just slamming into a wall you swing out of the smokes and boom you're gonna be able to isolate them and it's just so good because they can't even tp for eight seconds and they have no there's nothing they can do the only thing they can do is just like fight back but at that point you're already swinging out having the advantage because they're going to be knife out hitting their head into this wall right here usually you want to combo your razor vines with your wall the razor vines are only kind of used for when they're running out or when they're retaking so you don't want to use them for like anything else because they're not really like mollies because if they're standing still in the razor vine they're not getting damaged they're not getting slow because they're standing still so you want to make sure they're using it for positions where they you want them to move another wall i like to do as well is just having you know a wall for shower pair it with some razor vines as well so by the time they come out you know you'll be able to isolate one have a flash ready for when they come out flash up you'll be able to isolate the guy boom 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 pick them off but yeah that's really it for a site let's move over to b all right so now for my favorite site on bind for vice we're gonna have a couple of setups here one thing i like doing is usually ciphers have their camera like on this little pillar right here so they can get information towards long right but with vice you can kind of do something similar so you want to kind of like jump kind of throw this flash right here so like this is good right here so by the time they're walking up you're gonna have a player like in garden playing off your flash let's say they're scaling up here Flashing. they're gonna be flash and then that will be really good for your teammate trying to swing from garden so just be careful uh, that they don't get too close because then the flash won't get them right here you want to make sure they're like bottom right here you could save your flash for like on site you put it like in front side right here you can play back side or mid side right here so by the time they're coming out you flash and then boom you're able to swing that's just some flash places that you could do you could flash wherever you like as long as you're swinging off of it or someone else is swinging off of it it is really good overall now for the wall setups the main one i like to do is this one right here because it gets all of long pair this up with some razor vines i like to put my razor vine towards this way so that it gets towards tank over here and they're gonna be kind of stuck right here another wall i like to do as well is the hookah one as well so you want to put the wall like right here so by the time they come out and they're gonna be only one or two people are gonna be able to get out and the rest of the hookah people are not gonna be able to get out this is really good for isolating you're gonna have your flash paired up right here too you could also have a back sight like high like this right here i really like that one because it's gonna be behind you so by the time they're isolated you pair this up with the razor vine right here boom you flash they're flashed you're gonna be able to pick them off and then the wall stays up for eight seconds so the hookah people that are coming out they're gonna be hella delayed a trap play that you could do on this site is definitely towards plank over here kind of have the wall like right here right so by the time they come right here if they have no movement so if it's no one like jet rays or anything like that they'll be stuck right here you'll be able to raise nade in this spot bramble whatever you like and get a guaranteed kill so i would say the best razor vine setups that you would do for any wall that you do the hookah one the trap one or just the basic uh, garden one which i think is the best one the best razor vines to pair up with that is this one right here and then this one right here if they're coming out towards long side they will cover all this general area right here or you could also do one for hookah drop like this right here and then just like another one to isolate for the long people so it'll look like this which i still think covers a majority of the uh, site as well so this is really good and you're gonna be able to play off of this as well playing either back site or mid site and then flash be able to see them slow getting damaged this asia is really good for like that aggressive type play style keep on abusing these type of setups i think it's really good i heard a lot of people saying that lineups might be needed like you know for the razor vines but like how i said earlier in the video the razor vines are not really like mollies so if you are using them as lineups because they are the same lineups as vipers it's not really going to do anything because when they're diffusing they're going to be standing still regardless so the razor vine is not going to do anything already might as well just use it for your setup or if you're on attacking like i was doing it earlier in the video just use it for the retake when they have to move you're, you're just using it with a molly where they can stand still it won't do anything so if you really think about it after seeing kind of like all the utility and stuff that you can do with vice she's kind of like a deadlock situation deadlock was not really a sentinel that was going to take over the sentinel role but if you pair it up with other agents on you know on deadlock 
luck, that luck was really good. And I think with Vice, it's kind of like a similar situation. If you pair Vice with other agents to uh, make that trap plays, honestly, it'll help you win a lot more as long as you're communicating and planning stuff out. If you guys have any uh, ideas on any more setups or different ways to use the util, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate you all for watching. Thank you. Thank you.